Hey everyone and welcome. Well, we hit 14k. Thank you everyone for subscribing and supporting me by sharing. Sod you and your algorithm, YouTube. <laughs> right, that's over. Let's get to the video. Today we'll look at further evidence of partisan politics using our services against us. It's titled, Leaders of the National Education Union are caught discussing how to threaten headmasters who try to get their staff back to work with mucky children in Zoom meetings footage. And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. In my opinion, the National Education Union is another thing that should be thrown into the swamp be, to be drained with all the others. Let's watch this dis disgraceful discussion by the NEC's Joint General Secretary, Mary Boosted. It is not possible with the normal class sizes of schools in England, which are amongst the smallest in the developed world, we have the smallest classrooms, and the highest pupil teacher ratio, it is not possible to socially distance with 15 pupils. So uniquely amongst workers, teachers and support staff and school leaders and adults working in school are not to be protected through social distancing. And the, the fact also that the government has brought back as its first stage, reception and year one pupils who have no idea about social distancing, who are mucky, who spread germs, who touch everything, who cry, who wipe their snot on your trousers or on your dress. The idea that they can socially distance or keep hygienic is, you know, the fact that they've got those first two year group back just shows that this is not about education. This is about getting back to school, the youngest children, so their parents can work from home. That's our children she's talking about, like they're bloody lepers. My comeback to the, this is not about education, this is about stopping working from home is this. You ready? This is not about protecting children's education and subsequent futures. This is about partisan hatred of Tory government and fear and loathing. Now, I'm not being funny. I don't want my family or my family's schools controlled by this sort of ideology. I'd rather receive scientists' advice than a, a huge raging Karen. But what you say, what say you? Let's read. NU, NEU chiefs insist members shouldn't engage in school meetings to get them open. Mary Boosted, the NEU's Joint General Secretary, shown discussing children of being mucky, spreading germs and wiping snot on your trousers and your dress. Union chiefs have urged members to bombard headteachers with queries. The cynical tactics of a union trying to stop schools reopening were laid bare last night. Video footage showed leaders of the National Education Union discussing how to threaten headmasters who tried to get their staff back to work. The officials told their members they should refuse to engage if they were asked to return on the June 1st. So these, this is above and beyond because haven't the scientists say that there's no evidence to say that there's a problem? Haven't other countries been sending the kids back with no issues? In a further sign of the hardline approach, they described their opposition to the day as a negotiating position. Negotiating position. Get rid of unions at this point, I think. Mary Boosted, the NEU's Joint Sec General Secretary, was even shown accusing children of being mucky, spreading germs and wiping their snot on your trousers or on your dress. Oh, it's such a hard world, isn't it, Mary? The remarks were made in Zoom meetings for thousands of NEU members, recorded on May the 14th and posted on the union's open YouTube account. A final decision on whether to reopen schools for some classes on June 1st is now in the balance, with Downing Street admitting yesterday that it was not a hard deadline. Downing Street seem to be um, doing a lot of U-turns recently, don't they? Seems they've got no backbone, doesn't it? Talks between Education Secretary Gavin Williamson and the teaching unions broke up last night without a breakthrough. Ministers are also facing a nationwide rebellion against reopening from councils in other developments last night. I think this is absolutely disgraceful. Everyone seems to think because they're left wing and the Tories are amazingly right wing all of a sudden apparently. It's it's okay to just say, nah, piss you, don't care about your rules. These people don't have to follow regulations and laws, you know, like we've been doing for the last eight weeks. These don't have to do that. You see why I'm getting a bit perplexed. We shouldn't have these sort of unions. These are not doing the teachers any favours whatsoever other than making them political footballs, are they not? The Deputy Chief Scientific Advisor said changes to the lockdown, which would include schools reopening, needed a highly effective track and trace system to be in place first. Mr Williamson is pushing for the reopening of primary schools for reception classes in years 1, to 1 and 6 on June the 1st. 
Officials accept that some local authorities will refuse. How are they allowed to refuse? But believe that academy schools should reopen and form a bridgehead to show parents that classes can operate safely. And as soon as they try and do that, the academy school parents are going to go, hold on a minute, you're not using our kids as guinea pigs. You see where this is going? They're just going to football schools around like they're doing with the NHS and nothing will ever get finished, nothing will ever get resolved like just like the NHS it's an absolute joke this, to be honest this is just partisan politics being thrust and injected into everything in my opinion but let me know what you think about this so far but some senior figures in government are reluctant to press ahead if the reopening is likely to be boycotted by a large proportion of schools and parents. If schools tell parents not to bring the children, they won't bring the children. If schools are allowed to say, to say don't bring your children, they will do. Downing Street indicated that Boris Johnson was not wedded to the June 1st deadline. I think what he's doing at this point is he's saying we're going to be getting down at June 1st, but... Obviously, other countries have opened the schools already, and there's no issues there, is there? This is knee-jerk, listening to the media, listening to these poxy unions, just trying to instill fear in everyone. And everyone's going to be hid under the stairs, aren't they? Wrapped in bubble wrap very shortly, not living a life. And why? Because people like this keep saying, Oh, well, we can't do this because of this. We can't do that because of this. Pessimists. Every single one of these people are pessimists. No hope in the life whatsoever is there. Experts have repeatedly warned that the pause in education will affect disadvantaged children the most. It won't affect disadvantaged children the most. It'll affect every child the most that isn't getting an education. See, same again, isn't it? Party politics. And 22 European Union states have partially reopened schools without evi any evidence of an increase in infections, which is exactly what I said. So this is not about worrying about the teachers. There's proof out there that it's not the case. The Zoom recordings shine a light on the strength of the EU's opposition. In one of the videos, Kevin Courtney, its Joint General Secretary, was shown briefing teachers on how to pressure schools that try to reopen. He said the aim was to back heads away from reopening on the June 1st by suggesting they could be putting lives at risk with no evidence whatsoever. The tactics could prove multiple complaints by union members with hostile social media campaigns. He's, have you noticed how it's okay for these people to be hostile on social media? But if we any of us try it, we get removed. You notice this? Mr Courtney described the union's planned escalation procedure saying teachers should use the NEU's health and safety documents to undermine reopenings. How is this not partisan, everyone? It's, it is, isn't it? This is just Labourites hating the fact that they lost and they're just using their own schools as a way to beat people up, especially children, which I think is an absolute disgrace. We need the children back as soon as possible, otherwise we're doing irreparable damage to their futures. He said employers would go near, wouldn't go near challenging somebody if they are breaking health and safety law in this situation. Mr Courtney told teachers and union officials to pressurise heads, first by accusing them of violating regulations and then by threatening to denounce them on social media. How dare they? This should... Isn't the laws against harassment? Dr Boosted boasted that the 450,000 member NEU met had made the running in this crisis and said the union's op opposition to June 1st was a negotiating position. Former Conservative leader Sir Ian Duncan Smith said, What these conversations expose is the sheer utter hypocrisy of the National Education Union. They now clearly admit that it is nothing to do with what they are saying it is. It is to get back at the government, which is exactly what I said, Ian. They are using despicable tactics which ultimately will damage the economy and will damage lives. They have swept aside concern for vulnerable children and the needs of children from poorer communities. They have swept them aside in a ghastly attempt to damage the Conservative government and everybody else. It's not just the government, it's everyone that voted for the government as well, isn't it? Then the EU spokesman said, This government is putting an unbearable strain on school leaders and the wider education workforce to work through an impracticable and potentially unsafe timetable. Will it ever be safe to these people? 100% safe, is that what they want? It's not possible. There is no such thing as 100% safe. Even if you lived in a Zorb ball, you wouldn't be 100% safe. So what they're actually saying is, we won't, put, we won't take, send the teachers back unless it's 100% safe. 
But we want full pay off the taxpayers, obviously, while we're not doing any work. And we'll sit around on our backside while your children are suffering and not getting an education because it's not 100% safe. Okay, got you. The NEU's position is well known and well recorded. We want the wider opening of schools when government provides the scientific evidence to show it is safe to do so, which they have. European countries have already opened their schools. It says earlier on in the article, there is no evidence that it is a problem and is causing any issues whatsoever. So this is just lies again. We believe the vast majority of the head teachers agree with us and will work with us to avoid any prospect of unsafe working environments. I actually believe at this point our children's education is more important than these idiots. If they don't want to go back to work, fine. Let's find someone that will. You understand what I mean by that? We continuously engage with our members and the wider school community on how best to guarantee this. Now, what you actually do is you engage with your members to get them to bully head teachers and probably parents as well into believing that it's too dangerous still when you've got no proof to say so. Families also need to know that there is a sensible and measured approach to the wider opening of schools. Are these people just idiots or do they just think we are? The DFE spokesman said, We have engaged closely with a range of relevant organisations, including the unions, throughout the past eight weeks, including organising for them to hear directly from the government's scientific advisers last Friday, and will continue to do so. So therefore, they've already spoken to the scientists that have already said that you can open the schools, and still, they're not doing. How is this not partisan? You see what I mean by this? The, these people are a disgrace in my opinion, they need to be uh, ousted. We have also published detailed guidance on the protective measures schools should take. Yes they have, yes they have. Now what's my opinions on this? This is the NEC being Labourites isn't it? And they're just attacking at the, the government because they can. They're using this illness as a battering ram to try and batter their ideology into whatever they touch. Well, I'm sorry, if they actually class children as snotty, disease-ridden germ carriers, I don't want them anywhere near any of my family children, to be honest. I want them gone. They should not have any influence whatsoever on the people that are giving your child one of the best starts in life. Should they? Well, let me know what you think on this one, everyone. I'd like to know. This is just absolutely disgusting, in my opinion. But I wouldn't like to know your opinion. Have I missed anything? Is there anything that you think could be an, a, a factor in this? I think it's absolutely disgraceful. There is one major fact. Go on. And I think it's the fact that we need children to go back to school to start the economic back up. And in order to do that, parents have to take kids to school or childminders, which have been open all the way through the pandemic. If it wasn't safe enough, wouldn't have been open during the pandemic. That's a good point. Schools have been open all the way through, haven't yeah. they, for key workers? Yeah. Yeah, so what about the teachers that have been doing that? Don't they count? Good point. Very good point. Interesting point. We should have uh, discussed that more. <laughs> Maybe on the next one. In regards to the channel, thank you everyone that's helped out. I do appreciate it again. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Share it out, everyone. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe.